Six months ago, my little Chow was born, and while in the hospital, I had a lot of time to contemplate life and read. I read a book called How to Make a Video Game All by Yourself by Matt Hackett, and it helped me decide that I want to pursue my dream of making video games. So here's my progress six months in. The first game I made was a game called Lonely Paddle. It is a single-player Pong game that I tried to make pretty juicy with uh, different polish and animation. You can see the ball bouncing around, and you hit the little buddies, which are the smiley faces, and if you get a star, a uh, second ball spawns. The next game I made is called Xenotest. It is a sort of comedy quiz, Blade Runner-esque inspired game, inspired by the Voight-Kampff test in Blade Runner, if you're familiar with it. But instead of proving that you're human, instead of an android, here you have to prove that you're not human. And the questions are ridiculous and silly. And I made this for a game jam called 20 Second Game Jam, where you have to have the core of your game be limited within 20 seconds. So this might be moving pretty fast because there's a lot to read. You can just go play it on the web if you want on my itch page. This was really fun because there was very minimal graphics and I got to learn the game engine that I was using at the time, which is called Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit. After I made that project, I created this framework for Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit called Scale. It's essentially a project template that helps me easily and quickly make fully finished games with the start menu, settings that persist to disk, the ability to quit the game, different scene management. That was really helpful. Then I took everything I learned with Dragon Ruby, making games, and made a book called Building Games with Dragon Ruby, which you can read online for free at book.dragonwriters.community. I thought it'd be really fun to solidify my knowledge by writing this book and making it freely available. Next step is a game called Destroy All Goblins. I made this with Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit, and it's a 2D action game heavily inspired by Super Crate Box and the Mario Bros. Versus game. I don't know if you've ever played that one. It's similar and probably what Super Crate Box was inspired by, I guess. And you're just fighting all these goblins. I used Public Domain Assets by Pixel Frog, and that was nice to just focus on the gameplay and trying to make it feel good. Then I made a snake clone called Slither. I wanted to experiment with hand-drawn graphics that I scanned in myself, and um, there were some challenges with that, but overall it was fun, and I got it released on the App Store uh, for free and on the web browser. Uh, still not available on Android. Next up was Dragon Ruby Zine. Collaborated with members of the Dragon Ruby community to make this print zine. It's also available digitally, just talking about the engine and what we've learned. Also drew and printed these cool stickers, and that was really fun. I'm excited to make more zines in the future on a variety of topics. Got a lot of ideas. Then I made a little roguelite-ish dungeon crawler where the dungeon is procedurally generated and there's some really simplistic combat. I considered it complete as a prototype because I uh, stopped working on it and uh, was happy with my progress. I finished up an old infinite runner called Bub on the Run. This was something I started a while ago as an experiment and never finished. I thought, why the heck not just finish it? And it's pretty simplistic, but um, feels good to have finished it and be able to call that done. This then is when I started to transition to using Godot. And similar to Scale, I made Godot Skeleton, a template for quickly starting and making Godot projects. This has been very helpful as I start new projects and have a complete framework to work with. I then made a bunch of prototypes called Godotypes. One of them is a bullet hell as shooter where you're dodging bullets and shooting enemies, um, made isolated bullet pattern demos, and some smart input. This bullet heck one is the most complete. I made a 2D action shooter using sprites from Kenny. All of these, I think, are using sprites from Kenny. Uh, I made a first-person shooter with Kenny 3D models that I put in there, and that was really fun to get working. Made a little space exploration game type thing like Star Fox. I made those assets myself and learned Blender. Then I launched my YouTube channel. That's been going well. I made Growing with Godot season one. It's 29 videos about everything I've learned with Godot and continuing to share that. I also launched my Patreon, 
which is just a way to support me in my game dev efforts. Then I finished up a small game called Minimal Survivors, a little action game, sort of like Vampire Survivors, but you have a more action-influenced role. And um, this is more of like a prototype, never really... It's not a full finished game, but you can get to level 10 and um, I could see expanding this and adding some scoring mechanics and um, making more top-down action games, but that was fun. That was the first week of a project called Exquisite Core, which then turned into this, which is Robo Spider Reckoning. So 13 developers joined in each week and took the game and added their own additions to it and changes to it and it ended up being this uh, really cool little game there. Then I made the Godot 4 2D platformer starter kit, along with a three and a half hour video showing how to make a complete 2D platformer in Godot. And then finally, here's what I'm working on next, which is a shmup game that will be out in, I don't know, a couple weeks. Really excited for the next six months. Thanks for following along.